drivers, future drivers, this is Kevin Barrett, Cypress Truck Line YouTube guy, coming to you live from Cordell, Georgia. Well, we're going to do another load securement today. This time it's going to be steel strand wire out of Sanderson, Florida. I'm taking it up there to Decatur, Indiana. So let's see how this is done. All right, we're going to start with dunnage placement. I'm going to use the uh, 4x4 uh, landscape timber dunnage. This place usually puts the dunnage in place with uh, by nailing the dunnage to the trailer. But as you can see, when I do the close-up here, I use what we call the metal coil racks, which are the metal piece that's holding in between underneath the uh, dunnage that keeps the dunnage separated. So when they lay the uh, coils down on top of the dunnage, the dunnage won't slide out from underneath the uh, All right, so here we have the coils in place on top of the dunnage. My straps are preset so I can get ready to throw them. I'm gonna do a walk around here real quick. This load is center loaded. There's eight, there's eight coils on here, two side by side and all touching. So when we tie them down, they'll be all tied together. So everything looks good. Dunnage is all in place. The coils are all nice, snug, and tight into the. All right, so we're going to start on the left side of the trailer, which is the driver's side. We're going to throw all the straps that we need through the coils, through the center of the coils. Um, as we go, you'll see how they're set up. Now that we got them all thrown through the uh, left side, now we're on the right side. As you can see, each coil is tied together. And then we have a, a strap going through the center, tying them down, which we call the butterfly strap. And we also have penalty straps on the front and back, so, so, so the rolls don't slide forward or back. Now we're back on the left side, we're going to throw them through back to the right side. Now we're back on the right side, we got all the hooks hooked where we want them. Now we're going to get ready to tighten them. So we're going to do a close up here. Notice the, the butterfly is in the center of the roll and the wraparounds are in the center between the two rolls. And the hooks are on the outside of the rub rail, not on the inside. All right, everything is tightened up. Here, all the straps are good and tight. You see you got the uh, wraparounds and the butterflies. And if you notice that I ran out of straps, I had to use portables. Here's a close up of the portable. You wanna make sure your slack is secure so that it's not flapping in the wind and everything is nice and neat. Now the fun begins, we get to tarp it. Our tarps are D-ring folded. So we start with the closed end of the tarp and the center of the load. So when we open the tarp up, it will lay nice and flat in center of the load. I started from the front of the load and I pulled the tarp all the way out so that the tarp is completely unrolled, but still it's folded in half so that we can uh, open it up and it'll be centered by the time we open everything up. Then you want to go to the front of the load and make sure that your tarp is actually touching the trailer so that you have room to tuck the front of the tarp under the front of the load so that you don't have the tarp opened up on the front. Now that we've got the tarp opened up flat, we can we can start to uh, peel the uh, tarp like an onion. We're going to do it layer at a time. The blue over so that the green is exposed. The green part is going to slide down the side of the load and hit the trailer without going all the way to the ground. Now this again is the back of the tarp. We're going to make sure that it's flat so that when you get ready to fold it up it's nice and neat we'll fold the corners over make it kind of like a paper airplane so i can get ready to roll the tarp up to the load so you see here i have it rolled up nice and tight up up against underneath the load on the back of the load and i have a portable strap securing the tarp to the trailer so that it doesn't open up so here you have it this is what the uh, load looks like when it is all finished tarped it's nice and neat and tight all bungeed down 
so I'm going to go ahead and do a walk around and show you close up what the bungees actually look like all right so here's the front of the load we got the bungees like I said we're gonna go from front to back you got your two on the front to lock your front down up and down up and down kind of like you're sewing a dress together it's all nice and clean and neat there's the portable gonna wrap a bungee around the back of the tarp to hold the two sides down so they don't flap in the wind go over here to the passenger side same thing you're gonna have your bungees up down up down up down tying your keeping your tarp nice and tight up down up down we got the front got the one going to the front one going to the back locks the front end keeps the front from opening up you walk around and make sure everything's all nice and sealed see how the tarps tucked up underneath the front of the load it's nice and clean so there you have it all secured nice and tight all tarped up nice and pretty so that there was a lot of information in that video so uh take your time and watch it and learn and hopefully the information's helpful to y'all and that's uh another in the series of how to tie a load down so if you like the channel of course subscribe hit the like button leave a comment if you want if you got any questions feel free to ask i'm always here to answer your questions and as always, if you call con uh, contact recruiting, tell them Kevin Barrett, Cypress Truck Line YouTube guy sent you. Y'all have a great day. Peace.